this is Martin Gresco and it's been months since I posted to my blog and I apologize for that and uh, seemed like a fitting time to do it uh, with the passing of Merle Haggard and I want to use one of his songs today I started loving you again and I'm gonna play along with the recording but before I do that I want to take just a few minutes so be patient and I want to show you uh, what I'll be doing so I won't be doing any explanation after the video I'm doing it all before the video this time all right so the first thing I want to say is that the song is in F and our F scale is F G A B flat C D E F and we make our F chord by playing the first the third and the fifth of the scale that's F A C. We make our B flat chord with a B flat, the fourth note of the scale, and again you're just playing every other note. Then the fifth note of the scale, which is C. All right, so you have three chords to play, uh, and it's F, B flat, C. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give you uh, some tips on playing chord style piano uh, because. Most people, when they're trying to play country music, they're, they're, they do a caricature of it or something. It, it's terrible, uh, especially pop and rock piano players who, who think they can play country. Uh, not trying to start a fight here, uh, but I just I know how it's done. All right, so when you're playing this uh, particular song, the alternating chord pattern is where in your left hand, you're just alternating between the one and the five, and you're playing the chord in your right hand that for all of the chords. And today I started loving you again. We won't do a boom chuck like that. That's a little harsh sounding. So we're going to do a broken chord, which is uh, all you're doing is taking your right hand and literally breaking the chord up. All right, so that's the broken chord style. Uh, and in my left hand, uh, if I'm playing by myself, I will play the left hand. If I'm with a band, you got a bass player, that's his job. And typically, I'm going to ghost the notes. So you'll see my hand kind of touching uh, the keys. Uh, but I won't play it very loudly. And the reason for that is uh, I don't want to do anything that will clash with the patterns that the bass player is doing. Now, when you've been with a bass player uh, a long period of time, uh, and I've been in bands where... I could second guess what he was going to do because we just have been playing together so long, then it's okay to add a little more volume. But again, I would never do anything to clash with the bass player. So you will see as I play that I'll be ghosting some of the notes. The piano doesn't come in until the uh, verse of this song. So there's an intro, and then it starts with a chorus, and then the piano will come in by doing a walk-up. If you get the PDF, which you can download for free, you will see uh, there's a little stair step at the end of some of the lines, and all that is is a walk up from the C to the F. So whenever you see that at the end of a line, you know that that means to walk it up. Uh, and that's how the piano actually uh, comes in. It comes in with the walk up and it matches the bass. All right. In the right hand, you want to make sure that you have an uneven or a swinging eighth note pattern. And what I mean by that is when you're breaking this chord up, these are eighth notes. You don't want to play them straight like this. how all of them are even because in this song the uh, strumming pattern of your rhythm guitar and also your hi-hat are going to be swinging the eighth so it's going to sound like this instead so uh, you just want to make sure that you match um, going to keep your uh, right hand your thumb's going to go no uh, lower than this c your pinky won't go any higher than that F. There are only a couple of fills that he does, and they're not real predominant. They're in the background, and it's taking this A and this C, going to the B flat and D, and then back. Now, the addition, what makes it so sweet sounding, he's going to hit the F, and then he's going to bend that A flat into the A. lick that 
that happens is a uh, rocking uh, sixth, which is uh, a sixth is the interval A, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you're going to take each of those and plane it down a half step. And when he gets to this part, you will hear a little rock back and forth. Uh, and that's pretty typical in country music as well. All right, so we have our broken chord style, and we're going to play it with swinging eighth notes, not straight. We're going to keep our hands down here. Be listening for that feel. That one, and then that feel there. Uh, and basically, that's it, because the guitar uh, takes the bulk of the song. The chord progression uh, for the uh, chorus and verse are basically the same. There's one uh, small change in the verse. But again, you're using uh, B flat, C, and F. Now, when you get to uh, B flat, uh, and then we're about to play the song. When you get to the B flat, you're going to add in an A flat because they use a B flat seventh chord in this song. classic country uh, last night and I started noticing that when they go to the four chord and in this case we're in F so our four chord one two three four is B flat I noticed that in several of the older classic songs they were actually using a B flat or a four I'm sorry a four seven chord and they were adding that little color note in there and I don't know why that has escaped me forever and ever but uh, I just noticed wow uh, it doesn't happen so much with some of the uh, the newer country music, but in a lot of the classic, when they go to that four chord, they will stick that seventh in. I was used to hearing a seventh on the five chord. In this case, would be a C seventh chord, uh, but not so much on the uh, four chord. So never too old to uh, learn something, pick up something new. All right. Uh, and uh, the last thing that I will say to you is when I'm playing this F chord, when it's time to make a change to a B flat chord, do not go here. That's too abrupt. You have this note in common, so I'm only going to change the A and the C to the B flat and the D. As uh, you want to change your chords with as little movement as possible. So when I go to the C, C is in common. So you see that's all together. Rather than. Not near as nice. All right, so let's listen to uh, Today I Started Loving You Again. Uh, you'll have keyboard on your screen that you can see, and then also be sure to download the PDF chart uh, of this uh, with all the material and the things that I've been saying. So I hope this helps you get a little bit better understanding of some classic, clean country piano playing. Thanks for watching. Uh, here's Today I Started Loving You Again. Today I started loving you again And I'm right back where I've really always been I got over you just long enough to let my heart ache and then today I started loving you again What a fool I was to think 